Welcome back to my channel so this is gonna be a very interesting vlog I don't want to say sad I don't want to say sad but it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a tearjerker so uh, this is my last week not even a week it's really like one of my last days in Atlanta um, I have been packing up my room getting stuff together because I'm leaving tomorrow tomorrow I'm leaving to go to Orlando for like my birthday slash vacation slash um, graduation trip or whatever so i'll be leaving and then when i come back here i'll be back with my sister no with my mother and my brother i believe and we will be going to um move everything else out so i'll be driving to maryland tomorrow so basically this is my last day here in atlanta really here here in my apartment so i'm saying bye i'll be moving all of this stuff this is basically all that's left everything else is empty i know it probably looks oh and i still have some stuff in my closet i know it probably looks full but i promise y'all it's empty okay i have oh goodness i have a lot of stuff um so let me show you guys everything that I have here. Oh yeah, I got my hair done yesterday. You guys like it? Anyway. <laughs> this looks crazy. And to think that this is not even everything. Like this is, it's about, it's about a good maybe two thirds of my clothes. I'm gonna give that. And it's like all of my toiletries. Like I have so much stuff. So yeah well that's that my books and stuff yeah it's pretty much pretty much everything and this is stuff for my storage unit too so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw a little bit of a party nothing too big but i'm just gonna have um everybody who i love <laughs> here in atlanta i'm gonna have them come over um sit out by the pool well would you look at that i think is this the girls here now But I was just, um, no, it was the way that you came. It was like you weren't oh. here, but you were here. I was oh, like, what yeah. is going on? Hey, I was just walking. Girl. Hi, vlog. Okay, now listen, girl. This what? place is a mess, all right? Is it, have your roommates left? No, I, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I oh. knew I wanted to get her face. This is, a, you did good. I did good, thank you. Oh, wow. This ain't everything, though. <laughs> Oh Lord, that's not gonna fit in the bread thing. No, it isn't, it isn't, okay. Right? And they try to make me drive all this stuff all the way up to Maryland by myself. But look. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You're actually living. Oh my gosh, she's so silly. Lord. But yeah, so that's basically it. I'm gonna have everybody over. We're gonna show up by the pool. I'm gonna make some food or whatever because I have a lot of leftover stuff. And so now it's just the first one here. I just finished yes. getting ready. Okay, yeah. So you didn't ride with her? Oh no, because my mom was like, I'll I'll just go ahead and take you. Because I didn't have I didn't want her to try and um take me to work. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, so. I feel it. Okay. Oh, okay. So I yeah. this time. The last time I, I talked to you. you. No. Oh my gosh. Wait, are, is it on? Yes, it's on. I love you guys so much. This is not the last time you guys will be seeing not You're not supposed to be saying bye to the blog, you're supposed to be saying bye to me. I'm saying bye to you as well. This is not the last time you guys will be seeing me because I love Freeland. She's going to fly me out to North Carolina. What? Fly, fly you out. You know, you lost your mind. Wow. Oh my, oh my, love my gosh. Guys. Love you, Freeland. I love you so much. I love you too. I may come back later if y'all will be here at What time you get up? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll you see. So? I will Maybe. I'll text you. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So, bad news. Um, as soon as we came down here to go outside and start grilling, it literally started raining. So, I don't know what to do now. I fried the chicken. It's it's over there. 
I fried it, I fried the chicken, but like I wanted to grill the shrimp and some chicken tenderloins. So I don't know, I guess I could just cook them on my refrigerator. I just don't want everybody in my apartment because my apartment is already trash. And then it's super messy. Yeah, and then it's super messy because I have my boxes stuck everywhere. I'm about to talk to y'all later. never cook for anybody else like I was low-key nervous I'm like wait are you sure you want the chicken <laughs> no, really good. Uh, thank you but um I was like, you, you, have, to the the you, you have to put do the thing I like but, much. but usually I mean you see that people was just yanking it open I was trying I wasn't either is it trash there oh okay but yes and Morgan and Nicole are here Oh. I like this slick back. It looks good. Girl, I'm going to have my hands now. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Nicole. But, yeah, y'all. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on it? Did I show y'all that Ryan was here? I don't think you did. Did I what? Did you pay for that, bro? Where are Bye, Bye, Bob. See how they, everybody saying bye to the vlog and not bye to me. <laughs> it's not about the vlog. It's I'm about me. I'm gonna call you. We're both. Don't forget oh, about us. When will we see you, homecoming? You're not gonna get back from homecoming. See you guys later. <laughs> Yo, we so happy. So we had to move up to the apartment or whatever, but we got oh, Chef no, Nicole no, here. Chicken. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> and she's gonna help us out because I'm preparing everything. It's just you can't put it out in the world since it's raining. So she said, Oh, girl, I got you. She put out the garlic and the butter. I don't know what's about to happen here. No. I kind of always had like this you guys are saying. I know, right? They seem like no. they're always. Like, listen, I called my girl. My girl called me. He was like, "So, are you and Morgan moving together again?" I was like, "No." He was like, "You're going your separate ways, huh?" <laughs> That's such a thing that a grandfather would I mean, say. Kind of time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So I just said bye to Morgan and Nicole. I laid down for a few minutes because I'm just tired. I've been like, you know, running around and packing or whatever all day, but I have to get back to work. Um, I'm gonna leave a lot of this for when my brother and my mother come and help me because I just can't. Um, really the problem is gonna be me taking the stuff from my room to my car. And I wanna leave at like 4 a.m. and it's almost midnight now. So I wanna get a little bit of sleep. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to try and, um, and, you know, move too much or pack too much stuff, too much more stuff tonight. I did a lot, but I still have a lot. Ugh, I have so much stuff, y'all. It's just ridiculous. Like, I felt like I had, like, most of my stuff done. And then I came in here. It was really when Nicole came in here. And she was like, oh, she's like, okay, you're almost done. When she went out there and she came in here, she was like, did you pack anything? It literally looks like I didn't do anything. And I've been working for two days straight. So I guess it's time for me to get back to work. All right, y'all, it's about 2 a.m. Um, I just braided up my hair and I'm about to take my little nap or whatever for the night because I'm probably not going to leave at 4 anymore. I'm probably going to leave at like 5, 5.30. I'm not in a rush to get there, so it's, it's no rush. But, you know, I like to drive through the daytime. That way I get there before it gets dark outside. So, yeah, I'm about to just eat me some celery sticks while i'm going to sleep and then i'll be up in a couple of hours um i packed the car also like what i'm gonna drive tonight um only thing that i have is like my little duffel bag which is gonna have like my makeup which i still have out here and like my toiletries which i'm gonna need in the morning time so well in a couple of hours so yeah see you guys in a couple of hours good morning so i'm running a little bit behind schedule um, a lot of it behind schedule it's like I feel like I'm so overpacked but it's really hard to pack for my birthday trip and also pack for being home for two weeks it's kind of like really really difficult so yeah but I think I figured it out um my car is packed I still have a lot of lot of lot of like just stuff in the living room like I don't know if we're just gonna fit in my minivan we may have to get a um a u-haul we'll see about that though but I'm about to head out now and drive so my first stop is NC State.
Right, ignore how I look right now. I know I look so crazy. But I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm going to NC State right now. And it's not for like a long time or anything, but since it's technically on my way home to Maryland, I can't help it. I want to stop by. And it's for a little bit of a selfish reason too. And it's going to sound so cliche when I say it, but I'm going hashtag for the aesthetic. Um, I want to make my announcement picture on Instagram by the time. Obviously, this video is how you guys would have seen this. That's why y'all know where I'm going. So I'm going to leave my Instagram right here so you guys can follow me. Because if you're only following me on YouTube, you are probably just finding out. Or maybe you found out a couple of videos ago. But if you're on Instagram, you've known for a while now. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go to the campus. I'm going to get me like a t-shirt. Right now, it's white vibe. So I want to take a picture on the campus in a t-shirt and post it on my Instagram. And I know that seems like a lot, but it's like, I don't really have anything to do today. I'm on my way. It's like, you know, just a nice little stop on my road trip, especially because, you know, driving for 10 hours, it can get monotonous. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm going. And <laughs> um, I'm excited because, again, my sister went to that college that's where she graduated from and so I've been there before but I cannot remember what it looks like and I want to see what it's like before I actually go so I'm trying to go as many times as possible before I actually have to like move in because I can't even remember what's around it and I know it's going to be really different from Atlanta as far as like it's not a busy city so we'll see I look so crazy with my hair all wrapped up like this but it's okay I'm gonna look cute later when I get ready for my picture that's why I have on makeup by the way and Two thousand years late. Oh my gosh, y'all will not believe what just freaking happened. I look so crazy with the spot on my head. It's like what it looks like when I have my natural hair out if I wanted to put it anyway. Y'all, why did I come to the completely wrong address? What am I doing? I literally, when I was coming here, like I put in my navigation, I said like, Siri, take me to NC State University. And it did the wrong address. And so I get here and I'm looking around and I'm like, where am I? And I'm starting to get scared. I'm like, wait, I'm really in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even in freaking Raleigh. And I didn't, I didn't realize it. I didn't know what was going on. Oh my gosh. So I'm an hour and 40 minutes away from the actual university. I don't know where I am. I'm like somewhere near Durham and child. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I'm about to... <laughs> take this drive this way so I'm not gonna get home until like six seven o'clock now because I'm like looking around I'm like there's like where is the school at I'm like there's no way that this is a college campus oh my gosh I'm so freaking stupid I cannot believe I wasted an hour driving and this is not fun y'all I'm tired like I don't really want to stop like I wanted to be like all right forget it but like I have to stop and see it because the next time I may be seeing it will be like when I'm moving in, you know what I'm saying? So I need to take this opportunity, but another hour? I'm so mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself. I cannot believe I did that. I'm never trusting Siri again. All right, y'all, I made it. Oh my gosh, we're here, look. Eee! Oh, I think I wanna take a picture right there. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so pressed. Oh, it's so cute. Eee! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea where I wanna go. Okay, so I'm on Centennial Campus. Okay, you know what? This is looking familiar. This is kind of looking familiar. Okay, very surprised about that. All right, so I'm about to, I guess I'm gonna put in my navigation to take me to um, the bookstore. This is actually, this is actually familiar, you guys. I actually remember this. I'm so surprised that I remember. I've only been here like two times. And it was like years ago, but yes, I remember this. Oh my God, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to stop looking crazy. So I'm going to take this off, get dressed and stuff, and then find the, um, the store, the bookstore, buy a shirt, because I'm like so off schedule, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I believe that the book center is in there, but there's no parking around here. All the parking is like reserved and all this other stuff. Oh yes, hello. Ooh, she's finally back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, so I just decided, you know, I don't wanna make this super long and I don't wanna 
make it, I don't want to do too much, so I'm just going to park over here where I was. Um, I have to pay to park, but it's probably going to be like that all around campus, and so I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Y'all, the field is right over here. I wish I could show you guys the stadium right here. Oh, look, there it is. I'm so pressed. But, um, yes, oh my gosh, I wish that I could get a picture in there. That would be so stinking cute, but of course they have it locked off and everything i can't even get in there even if i tried i'm pretty sure somebody knows how to like you know jump the fence but i don't know how to do all of that so i'll just you know i'll be happy with a nice sign <laughs> Are you guys ready for an adventure? Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is the stadium over here. I hope I'm going in the right direction. Okay, this is my first time vlogging over here. There's not a lot of people walking around, so it's not that awkward, but the people who are here are looking at me and it is strange. <laughs> it's different because it's Bowman. Everybody knows that I vlog, so I don't feel awkward if you see me, but now I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is really crazy for me, y'all. So I found the bookstore, no problem. Y'all, first of all, it's huge in here. It's so big. Second of all, apparently it's new student orientation weekend. So there's a lot of people here on campus, which I guess is good because it's not like empty, but there's a lot of people here. Second of all, you guys know I told you I wanted a white shirt that I could do white vibes and they have so many cute shirts that are either red or black or gray. This one is cute. This really cute like this one and this one and it's like where are all the white ones at like they have all of these cute red gray and black I'm like, I, but i really need a white shirt so i'll probably get another one when i come here with my mom but for now i'm trying to find the cutest white shirt that i can find in here all right, my little road trip is going longer than I expected. So I just finished taking pictures in this outfit and I got my shirt. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Hold please, chill in the purse really quick. <laughs> but yeah, I walked around there for way too long to buy the simplest, most basic shirt that they had. But I wanted to make sure that this is my best option. This is what it looks like. So I'm about to go into the bathroom right now. I'm about to go to the bathroom right now and I'm change. And then I'm gonna go to the sign and hopefully I can find some people on the tour who can, you know, stop and take a picture of me. But I'm so sick and tired of being in this all white or whatever, even though, you know, I got a couple of compliments, but I've seen, well, there were three black girls who worked in the bookstore and then there was one black girl who walked by and said she liked my outfit. So we're adjusting, <laughs> oh gosh. But I don't know where I'm at right now too. I just walked through here cause I was like, oh, this would be a pretty place to take the picture. This is what it looks like. It's like the outside of the little, I don't know what you call this place, like the Union, the Common, I don't know, something like that. So I'm not sure, but I'm about to go change and then I'll catch up back up with you guys when I'm about to take my announcement picture. So this is the final look. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll show you guys the outfit first. Very chill. I'm probably just gonna get like a from here up. I was gonna tie the shirt on the other side of too. All right, so I'm dressed and ready. I'm walking towards the sign now, then I can leave. It's already like two o'clock, so I'm way past like my deadline. But that over there, that was actually the softball stadium. I actually looked inside and I was like, this is not, this is not football, this is softball. That's the softball stadium. But yeah, I'm heading towards the sign that I saw when I was walking in, because I obviously want a picture by a sign and I feel like that'd be a good one. If, I, if there's better ones, then I'll take it like on my first day or something like that, but I'm not really too pressed about it. I'm kind of sad because I told myself to bring gel. That way when I took my hair out of this half up, half down, this part wouldn't be puffy. You know what I'm saying? Like the bottom is so pretty because it's it was braided, but this top part, it wasn't really working, but I did the best that I could. Hopefully, it's still good in the picture because this picture is special to me. And this walk is way further than it looks. I've been walking for a minute now. Like, the thing is way back there. Okay, wow. Maybe I should have drove. <laughs> wow, I'm literally like sweating. Okay, we have a problem. So I get there 
it's like right up there but it's like so it's like it's overcast but it's so hot outside right now and probably because I've just been walking that far distance anyway I get there and nobody is there and I'm thinking okay maybe I can like set up my tripod actually I see somebody and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if she can take my picture one second so I ended up getting a random girl who was walking by because at first for a minute like there's a lot of people driving by but there's nobody walking on foot by the sign and when I was driving by there was like a whole group of people there but I guess they were like just stopping for the tour. Oh my gosh the parking deck is so far from here. I may have to get a bike or a scooter or something because this is a far walk from like anything this is this is really far anyway um i don't love the pictures you know how it is when you ask a stranger to take your pictures it's like you want to keep asking them to do more especially for me like i'm so picky with my pictures but obviously she she wasn't in a rush but she was like going somewhere so i'm just gonna have to to settle all right y'all oh i look crazy so first of all good news is that on my way walking back i saw a cute little sign and i asked another stranger to take a picture of me there and she took one and i like those way better so those are really cute i'm gonna be able to do a nice little swipe um that's that and then i get to the parking garage or whatever i just got off the phone with my mom and she oh shoot i'm over here driving without knowing where i'm going so um it's 3 p.m. now. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't remember what time I gave myself, but I know it wasn't 3. I think it was 2. It seemed like it took me forever, but I think it's because I had to do all of that walking. And, you know, I was just taking it all in. But I didn't want to see too much. Like, there was a part where there's like, the cafeteria, but I didn't want to go in there because I was like, oh, if I go, if I go, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to wait. Oh, I said I need to take this shirt off because I'm probably going to wear this to the airport tomorrow. It's going to be my airport fit tomorrow. But I have a um, bodysuit underneath here, a little strappy one from Pink. So, I'm just glad I could put this hair up out my face and drive without that white thing on because that was not it was kind of comfortable to drive in but it also wasn't I don't know but if y'all by the way want to know where the skirt is from that I'm wearing um it's from Pretty Little Thing yell at me in the comments and I'll leave a link in the description box down below because I'll probably forget by the time I actually upload this but it's about four hours it's it's exactly four hours and 19 minutes away from my home so that's not a bad drive at all we're halfway there and I'm I'm good I feel good you know because I'm not like I was getting a little bit sleepy but now I'm energized because I was standing up so I feel good sitting back down giving my legs a break so yeah I think it was a pretty good trip so far oh I, I lost my parking ticket that's what I was on the phone with my mother about um <laughs> yeah I lost my freaking parking ticket but it's all good because I ended up finding it. So I only had to pay $5 instead of 20 And, oh, that was my exit. All right, I'm talking too much because I'm obviously not paying attention to where I'm going. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey y'all, so my bad, I didn't record once I got in because I was just so tired. Like by the time I got in, it was like 8 p.m. and I literally was like, so it's what is it? It's about almost 10 now. Um, I was laying down, that's why I look all crazy or whatever, but Britt is about to come and pick me up. We're gonna go to the harbor really quick with one of her friends. I'm just going so I can give me something to eat and so I can see her before I go on vacation tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna continue to vlog just for a little bit. I need to do something with my hair, but I want, I bought, I went to the um, beauty supply store and bought some toner because once again, I just don't like my hair. I feel like whenever my girl does it, she makes it, I, like I want it to be all this color, you know? It's just really orange, so I want to tone it, and I'm probably going to do that tonight, so I'm going to be up late tonight. Um, I mean, I guess I could just wear it flipped over. It doesn't look too bad, but yeah, so I don't have any, any product in it right now. This is just it in its natural state, and I know if I put some gel in it, I could really make it look good, but I just don't want to because then I'll have to wash it out before I do the dye or the toner, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Anyway, y'all don't care about that. Um, I need to get some powder from my car and powder my face because I look crazy, but yeah, I have to go out to go eat. Oh, that bitch is not playing with her camera. <laughs> look, guys, she's here. We ended up coming to Boston, so we'll look rough. All right, I gotta get off the camera. That's enough. You do not look rough. No, I look literally crazy. My face, my bad, yeah. Makeup is done. I've literally had it on all day. But, um, yeah, it's gonna look guys in the way of Boston. We didn't have to go to the hospital, whatever. So, if you guys know my food, we here. Three weeks later. 
So the journey getting from Atlanta to North Carolina was a very difficult one and I didn't exactly know how things were going to work out while it was happening. So I wasn't able to efficiently vlog it, but now that it's over, I can try to explain it better for you guys. What I ended up doing was I drove to Maryland with my car packed and then once I went on vacation to Orlando with my family, we flew to Orlando, then we drove from Orlando to Atlanta. We finished packing up my apartment and then we drove to North Carolina and then we put all of my things in a storage unit. From there we drove back to Maryland with just one empty van, like one van with our vacation stuff and then we dropped off the other van and yes and then in a couple of weeks we ended up driving back to North Carolina and moving in and my stuff was already there in North Carolina in a storage unit. So I know that's really confusing. I hope it makes sense, but this next clip that you're gonna see here is when I dropped the stuff off in North Carolina from Orlando. So it was two weeks later. No, that's the least of your worries. You don't get sight of this. Yeah. All this wall, you want this day you get to the wall? <laughs> that's the easy part. Look how, look how nice that wall looks like. <laughs> That and then put all that stuff on. I don't know for my next apartment. All right, y'all, it is 11 p.m. We have finally finished unloading both of the cars. These are both of the cars that we had. Both of these vans were filled to the brim with my stuff. That's the one we're about to take back. We're about to take this one back. We just drove from Atlanta to North Carolina. We're in the alley now in the storage unit. I'm about to show you guys. Look at this long matrix walk that I have to, that we had to walk through to take all my bags through. You see I'm hot and sweaty, tired. But yes, you have to go down this long hallway and then we have my storage unit here which is fills the brim. Luckily I did five by 10, not five by five, huh? Cause I needed wood get space. Yeah, you gotta open that. Yes. Document. That's everything.